everyone welcome or welcome back my name is Bronte and today I'm going to give you kind of a little rundown of what I will take with me hobbies wise um, for going away I'm not really going on holiday I'm going away for two weeks to house it for my parents it's kind of a holiday because I'm off work and um, I'll have lots of time to work on my hobbies so I thought I'd show you the things that I'm planning to bring with me. Uh, my parents live kind of not in the middle of nowhere, but also like they definitely don't live in a city. They live in a little village. So uh, yeah, it's much quieter than where I live and uh, I can't drive. So I won't really be going many places. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's going to be a really nice, relaxing, quiet time, I hope. So yes i thought i'd show you i've already said this i thought i'd show you what i'm going to take with me so i plan on doing lots of knitting and i plan on doing lots of you know spending lots of time in my planners and i have some books here that i also want to take with me so let's start with well the planners let's start with the planners because you kind of know about these if you're you know if you're familiar with my channel i have my hobonichi weeks and my hobonichi cousin so my weeks I use for kind of organising my life and planning out my weeks. This is this week. Um, so as you can see, I have like tasks and like what I want to post on social media and my work days and things like that. Um, but because I won't be at work and I won't be at home having to do, you know, certain types of chores, I'm going to do uh, a bit of a different approach. So this is the coming week, which I will be at my parents' house. And I've put my habit tracker down at the bottom, but then I have just kind of made a list of things I want to do when I'm away. And this is not a list I'm going to check off. It's just kind of a reminders, I suppose. Um, so I want to do some extra posts for Patreon and I've put like lots of knitting, lots of reading. Like I don't need to tick those off um, and like to keep up with Instagram. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. This is I'm away this week as well. Oh, I have iCloud declutter on here, so maybe I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so that's the weeks. That's very simple. Um, I will, t yeah, I was considering not bringing this with me, but I will take it because it's kind of like my comfort planner. Um, so yes, there's that. Let me put that to one side. Then obviously I'm going to be taking my cousin, which is my journal in a way. I don't use this for planning. This is a journal for me. Um, so yeah what to say about the cousin um i do my uh memory keeping spreads let me just move my knitting okay so i'm planning on keeping up with the memory keeping so i need to work out what stickers i'm going to take with me which that's something i also will do with you guys here um i'm going to work out stickers and pens and things like that washi tapes so yeah um i want to keep up with the memory keeping and then obviously I have my daily pages. Um, this is today. I haven't written anything apart from some to do's. Um, so yeah, this, I kind of want to take, you know, various stickers and bits and pieces so I can do my, the deco for my pages um, when I am not at home at my desk. Um, so yeah, that's the two planners I'm bringing. Um, so shall we quickly go through and work out what pens to bring? Let's do that. Okay, so you saw these last week, if you watched my video last week, um, I did, oh, okay, okay, sorry, just had to reach my pencil case and knocked various things down in the process. So I'm planning on taking my small Delphonics pouch and I have a medium Delphonics pouch. Let me just grab that, it's full of stuff. I'm just gonna empty the stuff out and I'll come back. Okay, here's the medium pouch. I have it in blue, as you can see. <laughs> um, so I just emptied all the stuff that was in here out. Am I in shot? Yes. Um, so yeah, I just emptied everything out of here and it kind of houses my like spare cover for my Hobonichi cousin. Um, some spare like plasticky covers for my planners and then just 
random bits of crap, to be honest. My old A6 Hobonichi is also in there, but yeah. Um, so this fits the cousin perfectly. Um, so I tend to take my cousin in this when I'm traveling um, because obviously I have all these tabs and things on it and I don't want the corners to get bashed and stuff. So yeah, it tends to travel in uh, in this Delphonics pouch, which works really well for me. So I'll be taking it up to my parents in, I say up when I go to my parents because they're north <laughs> of where I live. Um, so yeah, I'll be taking it, my cousin in this, and then obviously the weeks also fits in here, but I may leave space because I want to take sticker sheets. Okay, so there is still space for stickers in here. So yeah, that's good. I'll put this to one side. Um, so pens, um, oh God, there's this one as well. Right, I need to really like not take too many because that's my like, uh, what's the word? That's my signature. <laughs> Take too many things. So this, um, I think might be running out of ink. Yes, it is running out of ink. But luckily I've got some spares. I'm going to take a spare cartridge and I'm also going to take uh, this. So this is a Uniball 1P. This is Uniball 1. Um, they're both 0 0.38 and I'll take a spare ink cartridge. Um, because the blue one's probably going to run out soon. Or do I want to take a different body? Let me see. So I've been writing with this because it came with 0 0.38 in it. But I got some others. Do I want to take this one? Or do I want to take this one? I'm going to take this uh, kind of coffee coloured one. Swap out the cartridges. Okay, so this I left the 0 0.5 sticker on here so I knew what cartridge was in it, but because I just swapped it out, that's irrelevant. <laughs> okay, and then to complete my memory keeping, I also need my Zebra Sarasa clip. And I'm going to take my Tombow Funosuke brush pen in black. And I think, oh, and my tweezers. That's it. Oh, and a ruler. Yeah, that's it from that pot. I'm not going to take any fountain pens. I already thought about this and I'm not going to take any. So um, now this is my like markers pouch. I'm going to pick out a few things to take. Um, I don't use these super regularly. So yeah, I'm going to take two of these new zig dots and the yellow because the yellow is my favorite. I use these two a lot. So I'll take both of those. Those are uh, Pentel brush sign pens and I think I'm going to take this Tombow uh, dual brush pen it's a very neutral colour and then do I want to take another Tombow no because I think maybe I'll bring a mild liner or two okay that's that one now let's go into the Delphonics pouch so I want to take my correction tape how much is left in here? I think there's plenty. Um, I don't use it very often. And then I'll take a glue tape thingy. Then we have the mild liners. Which colours do I want to take? I really love that beige. I will take that. It's kind of boring, but it's so nice. And then... Uh, I have like specific favorites. This pink, that green. Those are these all. These three are all from the same set, um, which is one of the most recent ones. I think it was called like I can't remember, like neutrals or something. I don't know. Um, okay, and then I'm not going to take a yellow mild liner because I've got the yellow dot marker. Okay, that's it. Oh. I'll take the Hobonichi stencil. So all of this I will put in my Delphonics pouch, but I won't do it now because it's already full of stuff. Okay, so do I need to take a whole box of paper clips? No, I'm going to just take a handful. I'm sure that's plenty. 
Okay, and then washi tapes. So um, I'm just going to pull some out and then I'll whittle it down. Okay, so very clearly this needs to be whittled down. <laughs> Let me just turn them all so you can see them. I also have some more on the way, like in the post, and I think they might arrive today or tomorrow. So I probably am going to want to take those too. So yeah, um, I will put a picture on the screen of what I got. They're from Grumpy Nook. Okay, so here is the selection or part of the selection. So I kind of want to take all of them. I kind of want to have as much option, as many options as possible. I don't think I'll take this Coffee Monsters one. And then I got three from Grumpy Nook. So maybe I can lose this one. Okay, that gives me 15 washi tapes, which I can completely recognise is excessive for two weeks worth. But... Oh, it is excessive. Okay, I think, <laughs> I think I've managed to whittle it down enough. I'm just going to indulge myself and take as many as I want. Um, so I will take these and then the ones that will be arriving from Grumpy Nook. Uh, so I've got four Coffee Monsters ones, um, I have two MT, um, there's this one that's Unicorns and then a William Morris one, um, ah, it won't stop, uh, this is a Yohaku one, it's one of my favourites, uh, these two are from Stationery Pal, just like really basic grid washi but I use it a lot, um, the orange is my favourite. This is a classic-y one, another grid, you know, it's great for everything. This is a Murrenkunst one, which is books, reading. Um, I have this one from Grumpy Nook, which I only just got, so I want to take it with me because it's new. Um, which is like black cats with apple juice. And then this one from Love Soup. So, I think that's a nice selection. Um, and then we need to work out stickers. So let's just move these to one side. And then we can talk about stickers. So, okay. So, okay, this is excessive. Let's have a look. Um, obviously I'm not gonna take all of these things. So I have these three little booklets of Paper Shire stickers. Um, I think I will just take a selection of those. I'm gonna pull them out and then come back um, and like tell you what I chose because it's it's too much to go through every, like it's gonna be too long of a video. Um, then this is like all my like indie brands. I think again, I'll pull out a few. I haven't used my Salon Creative ones for a while, so maybe I'll take those. And I might take a couple of sheets of these Murrenkunst ones and uh, have some of these Megan Rhiannon planner ones, which would be nice to use. So, oh, and then, yeah, I got a couple of sheets from Grumpy Nook. And I have one sheet coming with the new washi tapes. So maybe I'll take that. Okay, then these are all my like little sheets. There's some transfer stickers and then like Midori ones. Then uh, I've got quite a few Mind Wave ones. These are all from Daiso, Suatelier, and then Mind Wave. Uh, I think I should only take, I'm gonna take this sheet of Mind Wave stickers. And I think I'll take this sheet too, because I feel like this, I think this sheet's called Early Mornings, but what's going on here is what I plan to do at my parents' house. 
Um, and okay, I think I'm just going to take those two. I think that's enough. These are kind of like uh, events and stuff. I'm not planning on doing any of that stuff. And then the Suetelier. They're a bit small for the cousin. They're better for the weeks, so I'm not going to take those. Okay, and then this is my folder of Coffee Monsters stickers. I think I'm just going to take this whole thing. I know that's kind of maybe silly, because I'm obviously not going to use all of these stickers whilst I'm there, but I don't want to not you know, not have every single one and then need to use one or something. Um, so yes, I'm gonna take this whole booklet. I think it will fit in with my cousin. It kind of squashes flat, as you can see there, and it doesn't, like that. the stickers are still flat, so it's, that's fine. Um, I did take out the monthly, uh, not monthly, sorry, the weekly kits I have from Coffee Monsters Co. And I pulled out two that I'm going to take with me uh, for my memory keeping, which I should have showed you earlier. Let me show you them now. So I pulled out the one that is the Midnight's one. I'm not a Taylor Swift fan, sorry. Uh, but I really like the colours in this kit. That's why I got it. So I pulled out that one because I haven't used it yet. And I pulled out this one I haven't used yet, which is called A Gloomy Week. So, yeah, I thought I'd use those two. And then I have this page that's leftovers from the October monthly kit from last year. And it matches the Gloomy Week colours really well. So I'm going to take that too to try and use up some of those boxes. And, yeah, that's, that's those. I'm just going to move some of this stuff out of the way. And... Um, pick out some other sticker sheets quickly and then I'll come back and talk to you about my knitting and my books. Okay here's the selection. <laughs> it's not too bad. So for paper shy I have these spooky mo- I'll read you the name of the sheet so you can look them up in case you want to. So I have Halloween mugs, cloudy day, um, vanilla heat wave, storm i think there's rain forecast which is why i'm uh, but it's also going to be hot so that's kind of why i'm going with the weather stickers i have this one called cafe latte book pile autumn downtime which there are autumn leaves on this and there is a pile of pumpkins but uh i don't know i just use it all year round couch potato which is one of my favorite sticker sheets a cozy day another one of my favorites and then I have Black Cat Chilling. This was kind of a Halloween-y sheet, but my parents have a black cat who I will be looking after, so this is perfect. And then I have this one, it's called Yarn, um, because it's like my only knitting-themed sticker sheet. Then I picked up this one from It's Paper Co, because it's almost finished, and I plan to do a lot of reading, so I thought I'd try and use this up. Um, then for the Salem Creative, I have Bookworm. Uh, and then a books one. Then this one is called Techo Love, which is a Hobonichi planner, a cousin. And then I have happy mugs, uh, sleepy mugs, an umbrella again, because of the rain. Uh, and then I have two self-care sheets. There's like um, view A and view B. I just picked them both up because these are kind of the activities I plan on doing. And then I have this planner minis from Moran Kunst, uh, which is book ratings, because I want to do lots of reading, uh, bookworm sticker sheet, and then this one from Megan Rhiannon. Um, I think this is called like planner or something like that. But again, because this is nearly empty, I would quite like to use this up. So yeah, that's that. Let's get everything out of the way. And then we can talk about uh, books and knitting. Okay, let's talk about books first because that's faster. So I bought some new books with some birthday money um, or birthday gift vouchers rather. Uh, I got two today and I was planning on taking both of them, but I think I'm changing it up. Okay, so <laughs> today I got Belladonna by Adeline Grace and Ordinary Monsters by J.M. Miro. 
I have been waiting for these two to come out in paperback. They came out in paperback yesterday. Um, so I jumped and got them with a, a voucher. And I also had a full loyalty card from Waterstones. So, yeah. Um, I didn't have to pay for these <laughs> which was very satisfying so i definitely want to take belladonna but ordinary monsters is like 600 pages um it's pretty long so i think i'm gonna leave this one at home and then i will read it obviously um because i'm really excited about it and then i started both of these books yesterday um the bone shard daughter by andrea stewart and gothic Kana by rue nix um I've had this one for a while and I started it on the train yesterday. Um, I'm 59 pages in and it's really good. It's just quite a complicated fantasy world. So when I got home, I fancied something a bit different. Um, this is not my usual sort of book. This is like a, um, it's a fantasy or a romance fantasy rather than it's, so it's more romance first rather than fantasy first, but it's a romance book set in a fantasy world. Um, I think this is what the book talk people call spicy. <laughs> um, so yeah, there are some trigger warnings in the front. Um, I don't know, read it, have a look if you want to, you know, read, if you read the blurb and you think it might be for you. But yeah, check the trigger warnings because there are some. Um, yeah, I just fancied something a bit easier when I was uh, reading last night, so I picked this up. So I think I'm going to take these two, um, and I th I'm hoping to finish both of them, and then I'll have Belladonna with me as well. And if I really read loads, um, there is a small independent bookshop in my parents, the kind of nearest town to my parents. So I uh, will head there and pick up a new thing if I could totally run out, <laughs> which... I think would be pretty impressive but we'll see i'm not going until today's friday and i'm not going until monday so i probably will be halfway through the bone shard daughter by the time i'm going up there so yeah maybe i will read all of these um but i'll keep you posted i guess so that's books and then knitting i have a knitting project on the go which is this um it looks weird at the moment because i've only knitted half of the back um or I haven't finished the back rather. This is Boom uh, by Kiyomi Bergen. It's from the uh, fifth anniversary issue of Pom Pom, which, sorry, my coffee's got coffee splashed on it. It's kind of gross. Um, but let me find a picture. Uh, ba, 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 ba. This, I'm making this. So I'm using Dorira Natura Gilead. No, not Gilead. This is the Robinson. This is their cotton blend yarn. More summery. So yeah, it's um, 70, 30 merino wool cotton and the cotton's all recycled. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be really cute. I've made it a much shorter than the pattern shows, so the pattern pictures, sorry, show. Um, so it's much more my style. So as I am kind of not that far off finishing this, I'm taking some other things with me as well. So that is definitely coming, but then I will also be bringing yarn and this pattern, which is the Tolster Tea by, I'm not sure how you say her name, Kriya Bay, Kriya Bay. Um, she's, she's a popular designer. She's a YouTuber as well. Um, and this t-shirt pattern has been super popular. So she released it first in DK Way and now she's doing it she's done a four ply version which really made me want to make it so i got i got this yarn from work uh this is rosarius for madragoa which is a pure silk 200 meters to 50 grams um it's beautiful i chose this kind of like periwinkle blue color because i just i couldn't stop thinking about it when i always saw it at work and like other people were buying it and i thought oh god it's such a nice color so i got it um so yeah this will be to make the tolster tea it's just like a really plain simple t-shirt i think it'll be really nice to wear in the warm weather and yeah i only need 200 grams so yeah 
this is going to be a Tolster tee and it's just really simple knitting so to keep me occupied with something a bit more interesting not that that's not interesting but a bit more brain power is needed i'm going to make one of these animals so i don't ever talk about this on youtube uh but i like to crochet animals as well um i just don't do it very often and i'm not a crocheter by any stretch of the imagination like i can't make a granny square but i can make these animals there is no logic so <laughs> I was having a think at work and I decided I think I want to make one of these whilst I'm there too because they're so cute and they turn out quite big and I just think it'll be something fun and different like a change of pace so I'm going to make I think he's towards the back so oh look at this picture look how big they turn out so I mean obviously that's a child but so cute um I'm going to make where is he I think he's near the back oh yeah here okay i'm gonna make monty the tamandua i have a friend who uh the tamandua is his favorite animal and oh i just it's just so cute this little this little creature is so cute so she uses two strands of yarn together um to make quite a big animal and quite a dense a very very dense fabric uh, so he will be able to stand up on his own. His tail kind of props him up as well. Um, here's another picture. So, yeah, so cute. He has a little stripy top under his dungarees. And his dungarees are a separate item. Is there a picture of them off? Yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> so you make the dungarees separately and you can put them on him. So... Yeah, this is going to take a bit more brain power than knitting round and round in stocking stitch. I chose this yarn. This is another one from Rosarios 4. This is their yarn for nature, which is a pure cotton. It's kind of between sport and DK. So I'm thinking I might use a slightly bigger crochet hook to what she recommends. Um, but I chose this kind of very pale mint and then navy blue. His nose is supposed to be black, but I didn't like the contrast of the minty colour with the black, so I chose navy. I hope I've got enough. I just guessed, because there's no yarn quantities given in the book. She just tells you colours. So, yeah. Um, I also need to get some off-white, graphite grey, pastel pink. I have that already in my stash. I've got all sorts of bits and pieces. Um... Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So I'm just reading. Um, she writes these like uh, bios for all of the animals um, about like their jobs and things. And um, it says, uh, let me read it. He's a gardener and he lives in Uruguay. Um, but, but, but he lives in his f a favorite tree. He eats churros with honey. Oh my God, so cute. Uh, but, uh, so he has to check the health of all the trees and make sure the insects are doing their jobs. Monty usually prefers to be alone, but once a month he meets with uh, Rene. So this Rene is a caiman crocodile that's by the same designer and I've made him. So, oh my God, in her like law about these animals, they like to hang out and they will be able to hang out in my flat in real life. So that's, <laughs> that's so cute. Um, okay, this is a massive tangent. Um, so we're going to make Monty as well. And if you're a member of my Patreon, um, I will be updating you guys on all of these projects because I'm going to have much more time on my hands because I'm not going to be at work. So yeah, um, I hope to give you Monty updates as I'm making him. What I'm going to do quickly is pull out all of the tools I will be taking with me um, because... Uh, yeah, I haven't cut those together and I need, you know, obviously I'll be taking knitting needles, but other tools as well I will also need. So, bear with me a few minutes and I'll get those together. Okay, here we are. So, um, I just pulled out from my little crochet cotton stash some other bits for Monty. Um, so, these will be for his little stripy top. I decided to do yellow instead of grey because I think that will look cute with his body. And then um, I picked purple for his dungarees because 
I don't have enough pink and I really like this shade of purple and there's plenty. So those are for Monty. And then um, I also have toy eyes, which I will have to put in him at some point. These are one, these are nine millimeter. The pattern states eight, but I like to use big ones because it's really cute um, for them to have big eyes. Have some fiber fill like toy stuffing. Um, this is just in a sandwich bag because I have a much larger bag of uh, fiber fill that I tend to like to decant into this. I will have to fill this up because they eat a surprising amount of filling. So there's those. Um, I have a, this is a clover row counter um, that I tend to use when I'm crocheting because the patterns are written line by line. My hook, um, this is 2.75. I've also ordered a 3.25 because I think I might have to go up and use a bigger hook with the, the yarn that I'm using. It just means he'll be bigger, which is really nice. Then I have um, this stitch marker case, which has locking stitch markers. Um, just like all of those that I need. Um, this leather stitch marker case is from Fringe Supply Co, uh, who are unfortunately not in business anymore. This has all of my like ring, oh, there's one locking. This has all my ring markers in. I just take all of them because obviously I'm not gonna need that many, but you know. And then I have these tiny little scissors, which are really great uh, just to have, you know. And then um, I have a darning needle, which has a bent tip. And this is a little knitting tool from this company called F Floops. <laughs> um, I couldn't remember then. Um, it's kind of like a multi-purpose knitting tool, but I just don't think I'll need this. So I'm not gonna take that. But this little dish sits on my desk, so I just grabbed it. Okay, so I think that's everything. This was a really long video, but I hope it was interesting for you. If you have any questions, as always, please do let me know in the description. Um, yeah, I'll be packing all of this stuff up uh, today. I do have to go to work tomorrow, and so I'm not going to like properly pack everything, but I'm kind of going to get everything ready today uh, and have it ready to go. So thank you as well for kind of keeping me company whilst I saw all this crap out. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be taking quite a lot of stuff with me, but because my parents are not there, I'm going to be on my own for most of the time. My boyfriend is coming to stay with me part of the time, but still, I'm going to be spending quite a lot of time by myself, so I just wanted to take as much of stuff as possible to keep me occupied. So, that is that. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. And next week, my video will be coming to you from my parents' house. I'm taking my tripod and all of my like laptop and iPad that I edit on and everything. So yeah, next week I'm going to do a flip through of my Hobonichi Weeks uh, Hobonichi Weeks and Hobonichi Cousin for June. It's going to be like another planner recap. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that next week. Uh, the, the setting will be different, but the contents will be 100% Bronte. <laughs> okay, thank you everybody. I will speak to you next week. Bye!